Today I'm going to show you guys how to change the alternator in a second gen Dodge Ram. Yesterday as I was driving home, my check gauges light came on and my voltage meter fell all the way to below 8 volts. With a functioning alternator, you should see the battery volt reading somewhere between 13.5 and 14.5 volts. However, as you can see, it is now reading at 12.3 volts, which means the battery isn't charging. Next, I measured the positive side coming off the alternator, and it also showed the same voltage as coming from the battery, which means the alternator is most likely the problem. First, before removing the alternator, ensure the negative battery terminal is disconnected for added safety to avoid shorting anything out. Next, go ahead and locate the tension pulley, which is just below the alternator to the left, and using a 15 millimeter wrench, relieve the tension and remove the belt off the alternator pulley. Go ahead and remove the intake hose from the air box and push it out of the way. This is going to allow you to have more access to the rear plug and the positive bolt. Next, remove the dipstick tube bolt from the alternator using a half inch socket. Remove the positive cable cover and the half inch nut that holds the wire in place on the back of the alternator. Then remove the clip connector as well. Next, remove the top and bottom mounting bolts using a 14 millimeter socket. For the bottom bolt, you will also need a 14 millimeter wrench to hold the rear nut. Once the bolts are removed, just work the alternator back and forth until it comes free from the mounting bracket and carefully remove it. You may need to carefully rotate it some to get it to come out. If there's any debris in the area, now is a good time to go ahead and clean it out. Take your new alternator and maneuver it back into place the same way you took the old one out. Take your 14 millimeter bolts and tighten them hand tight for now to hold the alternator in place. Then torque the bolts down to 30 foot pound. Reconnect the positive cable wire to the back of the alternator using the half inch socket and then replace the plastic cover back over the connection. Then reinsert your clip connection into the alternator. Tighten the dipstick tube bolt back onto the alternator using a half inch socket. Take your 15 millimeter wrench to relieve the tension pulley and place the belt back on the alternator. Go ahead and reconnect the intake hose to the airbox. And lastly, reconnect your battery and start the truck so you can test your battery again to see if it's properly charging. See now the voltage is showing 14.08, which means your alternator is now properly charging the battery. 